probably didn't even see what I did. So I mounted this guy, that's the second one there out of the bug out bag. So he's just here and here, but this, the wire here is kind of holding it in place. And this is the wire from the original. Tuck that back up in there somehow. Here, let's pull the plug. Go like this. Go like this. Go like this. There. So, they're both red and green because obviously there's nothing going on. Um, they're plugged in there and that's got a load on it all the time, a light. I don't really like that. And remember, these are on all the time as well. So, that will put a drain on my battery bank as well as um, not so much the charging station, but still. So far, so good. I've had this on for friggin' months now. Um, and no issues. But, uh, I may consider, because these cords are quite long, taking a sheet of plywood, since I have, actually, you know what? I have some scrappers, um, right over here. I have these ones that I can actually use up for some type of shelving project. Here's a wider one, and that's kind of like more what I'm talking about. That must have been a rough, bad cut, but for a, just a shelf underneath there, that would be perfect. Because it's gonna go, just basically sit across here. If it's wide enough, let's take a look. Set the camera down. No. <laughs> no, it isn't. But I have those longer strips that I can cut. And, they, and again, I don't have this off, so I'm really, really, really screwed on this today. Um, these ones I can cut and then just uh, use these as a shelf. These ones are pretty long. And if I set them down, oh yeah, so I can get, if I mark these, now I got to remember there's some wires running back here, so I got to, you know, keep a little gap on this side for wires. So, cut it here, this side there's some wires as well, so I got to kind of have a gap on either side so here and here and there won't be much weight in here and I can run the USB cords in behind and down which is nice and that'll kind of fix things up I think but I can get at least two sh two sections out of one of these and I have two pieces so that should basically fill up the entire um, even two pieces would be plenty because this isn't fairly, this isn't very wide. So I can do that for sure. And, uh, yeah, I think that'll work out nice. And then these guys can just live down here on, uh, the, 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 the section's going to be about that tall. Like if I'm mounting the wood here, you've got that much room under there other than this. Uh, that might be a problem. So actually, for mounting it there, I got just a little space here. But those battery chargers aren't that big, so that's not a big deal. They'll slide. They'll just be laying flat in there, and uh, the wire will run up and in. Um, that's cool. That's good. So yeah, I like that. Good stuff. Alright. So we'll get out of here. Yeah, lots of stuff to do, but... Um, Should have brought the saw. 
Didn't know I was getting into any cutting though today. That's the thing till I got here and said, oh yeah, I need the saw. So I'm gonna write down saw. I got a little notepad here. Um, saw. Cause I got multiple projects to do over here. Just cutting window framing. Um, here I'll write saw for windows. Uh, charging shelf. TV mount. So, oh, and I gotta get the nails, so we'll knock this off. Knock that off, knock off. Yeah, perfect. So, not nothing accomplished today at the tiny house, apparently. But at least I got a game plan on I gotta have the saw for this, get that project done, get this project done, blah, 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 blah. More uh, wood used up. And then, um, what else? Yeah, battery box I'm gonna continue to hopefully get funding for you guys. Because uh, every time you guys like a video, it helps my channel out. And the more guys, the more you do it, the more I can get done here. The more thumbs upping you do, if that's a word, thumbs upping, <laughs> uh, you do, it'll help out the channel and then I can get YouTube money to get stuff done. But uh, other than that, I think things are coming along. I'm going to break into these uh, plastic tab thingies and see how well they work. Yeah. So anyway, uh, that's it for now, guys. Let's see what time it is. Quarter to 11. Okay, so it's close to the time I need to go pick my dad up, even though he'll, he normally calls me. So um, he's, he's doing his second round of uh, chemo this month. So it's only a couple hours. And I dropped him off at 9.30 for his appointment. So he has a couple hours. Um, I as immediately after the uh, yesterday's long treatment of four hours, um, I gave him a big tall ice water full of the tangy tangerine, and he also had a hemp cookie, and he was pretty happy um, with that. And <laughs> no pun intended there, guys. Um, but. Um, it's not real cannabis it's hemp like i say so you don't get high on it but it's it's mostly all it's for internal to get rid of the cancer keep my dad alive right and going strong so uh yeah so uh yeah so after after today's treatment he's done for the month which is nice gives his body a long time to recover so again i'll give him the tangy tangerine the hemp hemp cookie um what else uh dandelion root tea and also the um apple cider vinegar to get get his gut bacteria back in check after getting decimated by chemo <clears throat> so that's and actually the tangy tangerine is a probiotic as well so it actually is doing a better job than the apple cider vinegar will be so i really don't have to worry about that so every time he takes that, he's getting all the multivitamins, all the probiotics. He's It's basically an all-in-one super supplement. Expensive as hell, but um, it, it's good stuff. It works, no doubt. So I'm going to close up shop here, guys. Let me kill the lights for a second. And uh, sadly, I didn't get a whole lot done at the tiny house um, today. But at least I got a game plan. And I'll need the saw for sure. So I'm going to pull the charger um, out because I don't have any batteries on there. And it's just going to drain my battery down on the uh, battery the battery chargers I just set up there for you. So um, I'm actually going to shut off all my little... USB thingies as well. I'm going to shut the hub off 
the USB hub, they call it. And that way, not that it's killing my batteries or anything, but you know. So I gotta toss some, uh, I got a lot of nasty to toss out. I've been doing some cleaning too from all the spray foam, or not the foam, but the uh, rigid foam that's uh, been going on. All that cutting and crap on the battery box, so I've been working on that as well. But like I say guys, the tiny house is for a friggin' construction zone until I get some serious funding to start putting all this stuff up. Cause I can, like I'm, ba I'm basically getting, you know, I'm trying to get stuff together just for, for hardware and stuff together to get some stuff done. So it's ridiculous. All right, let's see what I can do here. Also want to hook up my grow lights too. Um, here's here they are here on the roll. Uh, I got these a while back, and these are super strong. This whole roll draws like five amps, so that's pretty insane. Though I can cut it and make uh, just sections. Uh, once I get my soldering iron uh, ready and a, a place to actually work, then yeah, I can actually do that. But for now, um, you know, can't do too too much. Uh, oh, also, just to give you guys a heads up. My landlord, before I check out on the video, my landlord, um, he's going to adjust my dad's trailer and uh, my trailer because of the sinking of our feet, um, the trailer's uh, uh, feet, basically. So that he's going to readjust. But like I, like I say, I don't understand why he just doesn't why don't we hook a, hook a trailer on, I raise up the legs, and then we put like a piece of two, a 2x4 two or something underneath the feet, um, or a 2x6, and pressure treated, and then put the feet back down. And that way, when you have, like if you're trapped in uh, mud or, hey, there's an ant. Not today. You're dead. Maybe not. He's dead now. Okay, so anyway, after being rudely interrupted by intruders, um, one intruder anyway. So, yeah, so basically, if you spread out the weight of the trailer on a two, two by six, we're not going to run into issues where, you know, we're having uh, sinking issues because it's going to, you know, it's going to take more for just that area to sink because the weight is distributed and spread out. So, yeah. So I'm out of here. We'll see you guys on the next one. Hopefully when I return with a saw. Okay. Time to go get my dad and uh, thumbs up, guys. Hopefully for my videos. And we'll see you on the next one.